Hiya guys, welcome to the video. It's Meals of the Week. Warm welcome if you're new and thanks so much for coming back if you're not new. I really appreciate it. So anyway, didn't do a Meals of the Week last week because I'd lost my voice. But I'm alright now, back to normal. Um, I did do my food shopping and a meal plan, which I think is only going to go up on Monday night. So you've probably seen that already by now. Um, but tonight's tea is chicken stroganoff with rice. It's a recipe I've seen on Instagram by John Watts, I think it is. So yeah, I'm just putting some microwave rice. Um, and made this thing. I actually thought that the recipe, um, how to make it, was underneath the picture on Instagram. But just give you the ingredients and didn't tell you how to make it. <laughs> it said something like you have to buy the book to um, see the recipe. So I've just, I got, I got the ingredients of what you needed and just had to guess how to make it. But I mean, how, how hard can it be? It's only chicken, mushrooms and onions with some sauce on it. So that's what we've got. Just getting sick of all the same every week. So I hope you've had a nice weekend, whatever you've been doing. We had we seen the baby quite a bit at the weekend and then on Sunday we went to Southport and we had the joy of Alex coming with us for a change. Um if I wanted to uh, I did one between me and Katie but I don't think it's enough now looking at it. Yeah, so I went to Southport because I made a deal with Alex that he could have some spend to go out with on Saturday night. As long as he came to Southport with us on Sunday, which he wasn't happy about, but he still did it. So I said he was good for sticking to his word. Because sometimes he gives you his word and then he doesn't stick to it. So that was quite nice. I really enjoy it when he still comes out with us. Because he is 15 now and it is a struggle to get him to come anywhere with us. Which I totally understand. Do you know what I mean? So we went to Southport and he was... He had us in a few of his favourite shops, looking at Christmas presents for him, trying stuff on. Um, and he's so fussy, it's unbelievable. So I've got a few ideas on what to get him. I think that's the only reason he come with us, to be honest, to make sure I got the right things, or I know what he wants. Yeah, so we went for tea in a pub in Southport, <clears throat> which was really nice. Didn't have to cook anything when I come back. So that was my Sunday. Didn't work today, and it was dead boring, just like every other day in work. <laughs> Nothing happening. So yeah, hope everybody's all right. Anyway, let me know what you've been up to. <clears throat> let me know if you've done any Christmas shopping. I know some people start early, and some people can't stand the word, the C word. So yeah, I apologise now, but I love Christmas. I'll try not to overdo it. <laughs> But I did order a few bits from M&S for my mum, my dad, and I, because last year I wanted the beauty advent calendar from M&S because it's £45 if you spend, I think it's £35 you've got to spend to get it for £45. And it is, it did look worth it because I was watching Tina from Tina's Talk Time. She bought it last year and I was gutted because it sold out by the time I went to get one. So I've ordered it early this year because they've only just gone on sale. So if you want one, go ahead and get one. Um, but this, I'm a bit upset because it's not an advent calendar where you open the doors. It's um, it's like a vanity case where you just pull out the one with the right number on. Well, that's that's not all right. It's not traditional enough for me, that. What? Things change, don't they? I've got my eye on a few, actually, but... <laughs> I mean, one's enough, that's just greedy, isn't it? So this is the mushroom stroganoff. I'll show it you while it's still in the pan. We've got mushrooms, chicken, onions, and the sauce is creme fraiche with Dijon mustard, chicken stock. Um, I think that was it, and some oil, some oil. And they added a bit of flour because it wasn't thickening very well. So that's what that is. Everywhere. So, I never 
to know how to make some nice sauces. I'd love to be able to make something that's dead tasty but dead easy. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that because I do like that kind of thing. <clears throat> Makes a change from what I normally have anyway. Because I think you sort of get stuck in the, the habit of just making the same thing all the time. You just get really bored. Like your shopping list, your shopping every week seems to be the same stuff in your basket, doesn't it? Unless you're dead adventurous and you're not like me, because I'm just like, yeah, I'll just buy the same stuff every week and I need to change it up a bit. So that is Tate on a Monday. <clears throat> We've had Harvey out for a little walk when I finish work. <coughs> <clears throat> um, but he'll probably go out again just for a quick one um, after we've had tea. It all looks very white. I thought the sauce would have been a bit more colourful because it's got a lot of mustard in it, but you can't tell, but it is quite dark tonight. So that's our tea on a Monday, and I'll speak to you tomorrow night, guys. Take care. Hiya guys, hope you're all right. We're on Tuesday and tea tonight is not what was on the meal plan. <laughs> We've already moved away from that. Um, only because I've had a disaster today. So I've done the chicken dumpling ready meals with some tinned potatoes and sprouts because I needed something super quick tonight. I've just been to do my yoga class. Only two ladies turned up, which wasn't even worth doing. Um, today... I went to work in my car, which was fine. Uh, come out to work, it wouldn't start whatsoever. <laughs> Nothing was happening. So it is now still on the car park at work, which leaves me with a problem of I can't move it. So I've got to get someone to collect it tomorrow. Like a, what do you call it? Like a, what do you call them then in the van? <laughs> <laughs> Ten men that come and move your car. I need one of them. So the problem is the car park at work is incredibly busy and I don't think they're gonna get anywhere near it to move it. Because once it gets to nine o'clock, there's an almighty kerfuffle trying to get a space. And you need to obviously get a pickup truck behind it to put it on. Well, you're probably not gonna do that. So I'm a little bit stressed about tomorrow now. I'm not having a good day. We've known that the car's not been running properly for weeks now. And I keep saying to Andrew, do you think we should book it in? Because it's like, you know, it's not running right. It's just not accelerating. You put your foot down and you're basically not going anywhere. Um, but I think we've just had his car done as well. So I was thinking, oh, let's just see if it lasts another week or so. Anyway, it didn't because it's died of death. So that's my problem. So now I don't know whether to get a taxi tomorrow or Andrew's offered to lend me his car and me just give him a lift to work in the morning before I start. So I might just do that. are just very very costly drives you mad I'm paying all this money else i'm never getting anything fun back for it don't mind if i'm getting something i'm gonna enjoy but i'm not <laughs> you're gonna think i'm a really bad mode don't know where you're gonna get that idea from So these are the ready meals, chicken and dumplings from Aldi, they look alright, to be honest with you, I need to scabby dog because I'm starving. But I just said, well Andrew's just said to me when I come in, he goes, you've got to break down cover haven't you? I went, yeah I'm sure yeah. He went just ring them in the morning then. I said, oh I didn't think of that, I was going to ring the garage and ask them to go and recover it. Well, that would have cost me quite a bit, I think. So I might just look for my insurance to find the breakdown that I've got. I didn't even think of that. I 
sure the car's going to cost me enough without paying for the uh, recovery fee as well. Just hoping it's not an expensive one. It's not near Christmas. And I was only saying about getting a new car a few weeks ago. soon not after me last one <laughs> where I felt like a complete idiot so that's tea it's Tuesday my yoga class wasn't the most successful my car's died and I'm on a bit of a downer but all is good hey there we have chicken dumplings sprouts and potatoes from a tin. So I'll leave you there for tonight. I've got lots to do. Speak to you tomorrow, guys. Hi, you guys. Hope you're all right. It's Wednesday night. Tea tonight is tuna pasta bake with some some blushed tomato garlic bread. Um, I don't know what was on the um, meal plan. I can't find it. So yeah. I don't know what was on the meal plan anyway, so I just thought I fancied tuna pasta bake. And that's what we're having. <coughs> Hope you've had a nice day, whatever you've been up to. I've had a rubbish one, if I'm honest. I, um, I had to go and work a little bit early because obviously my car broke down yesterday and it's it was still on the car park at work. So I had to ring the recovery people this morning to see if they could come and sort it out. So I was up at some ungodly hour. Um, and I was trying to get through at 8 o'clock because they only opened at 8. Um, and then it was one of them where you sit in a queue for ages, wait for somebody to answer. And then they ask you 100 questions. Well, this was gone 8 o'clock and I usually set out about half past. And it did say on the um, answering message that you'll be, your waiting time on the call is at least 30 minutes. So I had to put the phone down, get to work, and then ring up again as soon as I got in work. <clears throat> but anyway, to cut a long story short, the RAC man come out, he had a look at it and told me that I had a dodgy battery that had got a bad cell or something like that. So we had to replace the battery on the car park and cost me 170 quid. So there you go. Well, my car drives. I just thought it was expensive for a battery. I think he ripped me off. Probably saw. Oh, she don't know what day it is. I'll just give her any price. <laughs> anyway, show you the pasta bake while I am. There it is, pasta bake. It's got peppers, onions, three tins of tuna, lots of pasta, tomato and herb sauce. Watery this compared to normal. I had a bit of a disaster with the sauces. I put the sauce in and I put the sauce in like you know when you put the dry pasta in the oven and leave it there but you don't have to um obviously my pasta was dried last time I did it. I'd cooked this pasta first because I thought I was gonna be doing it quicker for myself and then I just put the sauce in and then put a whole jar of water in after that as well which completely ruined my sauce but Anyway, what can you do? What can you do? I've got to say though, the two women I sit next to, they're so nice. They always try and cheer you up when you're in a bit of a downer. <laughs> so yeah, I do, I do like the people I work with. a whole bag of grated cheese on the top of this. It's just disappeared. I 
think next week I'm going to try another yoga class. Not me teaching it, but me doing it. Because I've not been able to go whatsoever to anybody else's classes. I used to go once or twice a week. And because my back and my legs been so bad, I couldn't do it. Can't fold forward or do a proper downward dog or anything because it's just, it hurts too much. But I'm thinking next week I might be just giving it a go. Because last night I felt like I could move a little bit easier. I don't want to jinx things, but, you know, hopefully I might be getting a little bit better. I can't believe how long I've had that for. I mean, I thought it was sciatica, but... There's a girl that comes to yoga and she said she suffers with uh, slip discs and she said it sounds more like a herniated disc. I mean, I don't know, I've not had it looked at, but it could be anything, couldn't it? Do you want to guess what you've got along with you? You're quite half. Oh, your little eyes are shutting. God love you. He's the cutest little boy, aren't you? Love me little heart. He's another one that cheers me up. When he's made to have selfies and cuddles off me. You're gorgeous. And here is Gallibred. It looks like a burnt it would have not, because that's the sun blush tomatoes on the top. <laughs> it's my excuse anyway. <coughs> I feel like I need a few more days off work, you know, to book a few days holiday. I mean, I've got it off, so I might do. I think I've got about two weeks left until the end of March. So, I'm just thinking that Andrew should book the same time off as me and take me somewhere nice. I've not told him that yet. He keeps telling me he's going to take me to. There's a couple of places I want to go. One of them is Nutsford, because I think it was Tina from Tina's Tart Time, if you watch her channel. She went there and it looked like a really nice little historic town with lots of charity shops, which I do love to browse. So yeah, that looked nice. And I also want to go to, what was the other place I like the look of? It's a little bit posh. They have lots of expensive charity shops. What am I thinking of? Come to me in a minute. Uh, Katie will know. She's a fountain of knowledge. Oh my god, what is it called? <laughs> comment in the comments if you know what I'm thinking of. You probably haven't got a clue what I'm going to go. It's a posh town. Hang on, I'll talk about something else. It might come back to my mind in a minute. <clears throat> anyway, there's another place like that and I'm always up for a day in Chester because I just love it. And it's not too far. There's lots of places that I haven't been that I'd like to see. So that's that. Alex has had waffles with chicken breast chunks. Got a new addition to Alex's menu. Potato waffles. He's never had them before, but you know, told me he likes them. So that's a bit different. Um, yeah, so that's my day. Done nothing good. We have got um, tuna pasta and some bush tomato garlic bread. That is tea on a Wednesday. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Hiya guys, hope you're all right. We're on Thursday and tea tonight is something quick. We've got oven chips, sausages and frozen peas. Katie's asked for rice because she didn't want chips. <coughs> what are you doing, Harv? You're being odd tonight. So she doesn't particularly like sausages, but she just said she'd have them because it's nice and easy if we're all having the same thing. And as 
per usual. My sausages are a little bit crisp. I don't know why. I burn them every time I make them. <laughs> like a brick. <laughs> I definitely left these in too long, didn't I? Uh, we got prizes for my cooking. Tell you what. All right, good job we've got plenty of dessert for later on. The sausages look a bit disastrous, don't they? <coughs> Alex has just come in. The weather today is terrible. Um, he's just been out with his mates. Come in early because it's obviously cold and damp. So... I'll take Harvey out in a minute and I think it's stopped really. But he's a big, big mad. He doesn't like going out in the rain. If his feet touch his wet grass, he's like tiptoeing. So I might have to do gravy, you know. I think I will. I hope you've had a good day, whatever you've been up to. <coughs> so today we was planning a little outing. You know, I was telling you, me and my mom, my sister, Katie, um, we try and go out somewhere near Christmas. Um, I'm just laughing at myself, dropping everything, because I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, so everything was everywhere. Like in a right mess here. We've decided to go into a little country pub for our Christmas meal. I think that's the first weekend in December. So that's something to look forward to. And um, there was something else. Oh yeah, me and Andrew's going watching Marty Pello, end of November. So that'll be good as well. I don't know whether to ask my yoga ladies if they fancy a little a little outing somewhere. Don't know where, but Everybody. <clears throat> I've been trying to find a recipe this afternoon for some sweets that one of my relatives used to make a long time ago. She's passed away now, sadly, but she used to make the best sweets. And they was called something like Mintos. Well, she made them herself, and I thought she put uh, peppermint oil and condensed milk in them. But the only thing I can find when I look online is the same kind of thing, but made with cream cheese, which I'm sure she didn't put cream cheese in it. So I was looking at that. I was trying to find the recipe because I was going to make them, but I can't find one. And she never like told my mum what the recipe was or anything, so I might just have to try and see if this it was the same one I can find because it's the only like old fashioned style recipe that's on there, you know, from like donkey's years ago. Because she was like eighty something when she died. Gravy's nice and thick. Katie'll shout at me now. She might want gravy, might she? Oh, it's alright, I'll make another one. <laughs> she'll come out now, she'll come in and go, uh, did you forget something? <laughs> Don't give me rice. Well, it does actually because I've tried it. I'll put the kettle on, I'll do with some more. Do you know what I'm going to get now? She'll come in and go, do you not care about me? <laughs> Honestly. So yeah, I've had a bit of an uneventful day. But that's life, isn't it? So we've got sausages, chunky chips and frozen peas. Katie's got rice, chicken savoury rice, peas and sausages. So yeah, I'm going to walk half, have a nice bath and then... 
get ready for my day off tomorrow or the Friday. So I'll speak to you then. Good night, guys. Hey guys, hope you're all right. It's Sunday and we've just been doing a food shop in Morrison's, so I thought I'd share that with you today. Not been to Morrison's for a bit because they have gone more expensive. I noticed today they dropped the prices on a few bits. So yeah, hope everybody's all right. Um, it's bonfire night and it's my sister-in-law's birthday, so we've got a nip to her house this afternoon. So I'll just show you this stuff before we get ready to go out. I'll just turn you around. So it's quite a big shop today because I think it come to £120 something. Andrew did get beers but he's put in the fridge in the garage already. Um, so we've got some twirls which is still £1.50 for four. Some whisper again £1.50. We've got the TV book. Don't ask me why. I don't think anyone ever looks at it. <laughs> um, Colgate which was a pound. Uh, pads for the bathroom one fifty five. Some more paracetamol, I think they were 65p. This is all from memory, so I'll, I might just not know the prices of some things, but we got microwave rice, two packets, which was 65p each. Some grated cheese, I do like to have this in. I'm not lazy, but it's just a lot easier than doing it yourself. And a big block of cheese goes literally nowhere once you've grated it. I think that was £2.80. We got some... Vanilla cakes with jam and cream in the middle. They won't be here for long. Trust me. They were two thirty nine. I got some mint penguin, which were one twenty five. I'm gonna say. Kids are just eating the same things all the time, so I'm trying to get a few different bits. Going to the back here, we got some Morrison's cola. These are two for one pound fifty, and they fit nicely in the fridge, whereas the little ones do not. Um, Radnor Splash, this is the strawberry one, and this is about £2 something, but they're good for kids for pat lunches and stuff like that when they're back at school. We got Oxo, I got a chicken one, and this one, rich beef with rosemary and onion, just for whatever I make through the week. Got some pepperami, because they was on offer at £2 for five little sticks. I got a big block of Red Leicester. I think these are 369 or 47. <laughs> 347, 369, don't know. Um, but it's a fairly big one and we use lots of cheese. I got these little pork chocolates because Carl might be here for his tea and he says these little skinny ones are the best. They were 225. I got some coleslaw. I'm not sure if I like Morrison's own, but Mm, I didn't see another option, so I just got that. We got some Rustler's cheeseburgers. These was one twenty-five, and they're just for the kids' dinners this afternoon. Um, just for something quick before we go out. And three, four pints of semi-skimmed ones, fifty-five maybe. I got Andrew said he wanted a pizza for his tea. He got this stone baked Tex-Mex. He's had it before. It's quite hot. Um, we got some Belvita, of course we did. Two boxes at one seventy-five each. I had to get Morrison's tea bags because I've not been in Lidl this week, and they was one ninety-nine. Alex loves to chew on these plain poppadoms with nothing on them. Um, I think there was a pound, and then I got this, which is garlic and chili prawn spaghetti mix. So that's what I'm going to try and make at some point. Got some of these medium noodles. These was 99p. The cheaper in Lidl, but I was in Morrison's. And you get two separate individual packs. Got some white wraps, just because the kids prefer that to bread. Um, I got some chicken trimmings. It looks like real chicken and not that. You sometimes get different. Sometimes they'll put the ham, like the... You know that stuff that's not real chicken, that's like ham? They'll do that. And sometimes you'll get actual chicken in these. So it depends what they've got at the time, I think. I'm not sure if that was £3. Pepperoni, which was 88p. I got this big pack of roast beef slices. I'll put it in gravy and put it with something for tea. Because it's just nice and quick and, yeah, I like quick teas. That was £5. 
I got two packs of this. Cooked chicken. We all know. I love it. 36 slices. It's around £3. Beans. 50p. Andrew loves mustard. That was 65p. We got some more peanut butter. <laughs> this is mostly for Harvey, to be honest. <laughs> he has it on his treat mats. You know, the lick mats and stuff like that. Uh, mint sauce. Some more baked beans, but the 27p ones to see if they're any good compared to the other ones that's 50p. So we're going to do a little test. We've got some Swedish meatballs, which was £4. There's another quick tea because they take like 10 minutes to cook. Um, homemade fries. No, not homemade fries. <laughs> McCain home chips. They were £3.50 for the big bag. I got some apple washing up liquid because we ran out. Some Red Guard. The fresh one smells nice. That was £1.70. And you might not remember, I showed you these, was it last time I did a shopping haul from Morrison's and told you it was £2.25. Well, I lied. It was £4.20. I must have been looking at the wrong price of something next to them because there was £4.20 today, reduced from £5 something. But they're still nice, so I bought them again. Um, and all the others were more expensive anyway, so I had to get them. We got a kitchen roll, which was £2. Some baby wipes because little Lani's here this afternoon. And some more nappies because we've run out of them as well. They were cheap. They were 2 I don't know if they're any good, the Morrison's nappies, but we'll try. I got Alex an advent because Katie's got the Grinch. Alex has got this one, which is reduced to one thirty-five at the minute because it's dairy milk. Um, moving on, we got broccoli. There was no price on it. And the little thing wasn't there to scan, so she basically had to make a price up and say, you are right with that? So I said, yeah, that's fine. That was £1.14. Some onions. They was around a pound for whatever meals and cooking through the week. We got two nets of Easy Peelers, which was, I think there was a pound each. I got some Seabrook Variety Pack. Salted, cheese and onion. I don't like salt and vinegar, but hey ho. Prawn cocktail. We got fruit and fibre. Andrew's favourite. We got jazz apples. Mm, I think there was one ninety nine. And they also had three things. Um, three for two. So I got red grapes, some conference pears, and some more apples, which are the pink lady ones. So they were three things. I don't know how much each thing were though. I think they rip you off with these three for twos because everything that you buy is more expensive than the cheaper option anyway. But you buy them because you think you're getting a deal. I got these baby sham just to put with my mum's Christmas present because she loves baby sham. She loves cherry bee. And I got some tomatoes. Well, not for me, for Andrew, but that is what we got from Morrison's. Quite a lot, to be honest. But there's not much in the way of meals. It's all just bits to add to your food cupboard. And, you know, that's life these days. So that's my Morrison's shopping. I hope you enjoyed. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel to watch some more videos. And enjoy your weekend, guys. See you soon.